to a bedroom here, and uh, Wilm is with me on the camera, and, uh, this, and uh, this morning we're just cutting up some ginger, getting ready to plant. So i uh, just uh, get this, put this, the last one to cut. I'm going to get about three plants out of this one. So I'm going to use those two nodules here as one plant. And, uh, and I've got another two nodules there as another plant. And I'm going to use... Uh, that'll be another plant there. Uh, well, I'm looking for about ten altogether, so I've got uh, two, four, six, three, got ten plants there. Now I've also got some Hawaiian sweet potato. I've never grown that before, and uh, it looks good. It's got a sort of a. I'm just going to put a bit of this in the ground, and uh, uh, you don't grow sweet potatoes the same way you grow potatoes. So uh, you can see the beautiful colour inside there. Looks, Gorgeous. Yeah, we couldn't resist it. We saw it in the, we got all these at the same shop and um, and I just couldn't resist uh, trying it out. That one with the purple in it's a good um, anti-cancer. Oh yeah, antioxidants and yeah for sure. So all you do is you put that in the ground and where these eyes are shoots will come out of that and then you get these runners that come off it and then you plant the runners and you, so and uh, if you want to you could take the runners off this and then pull this back out and then eat it if you want to but anyway uh, we'll eat this bit here so uh, now this is go and go or you know there's all different ways of pronouncing it. i'm not really sure how to pronounce it uh, go and go now i've got this at the same place it's the only place i could find it and it looks like it's been in the fridge for quite a while. The ends are quite dry. and So what I'm going to do is get four plants out of this. But I'm just going to... This, this one's quite a big one, so I'll, I'll cut that into two. It's quite hard. So... Uh, ginger's pretty hardy. Yeah, oh yeah. So it's supposed to be a cousin of ginger. So uh, in the Thai cooking. So we'll, we'll go outside and uh, we'll plant it all. Yeah. Okay, so we're here now. We're going to plant this ginger and the uh, uh, gal and gal. Uh, and I've dug my bed nice and wide and uh, nice and deep. And there's heaps of earthworms in here. And um, so what I'm going to do is uh, plant them uh, a sort of a double row, like I do with the potatoes sometimes. But stagger them. And a nice spacing between each one, about or oh, 18 inches. One, two, three, four, like that. And uh, I'm just going to bury them about three, about three inches in the ground with these nodules pointing upwards. And uh, and then I'll just cover them up and uh, I'll just leave that open for them and plant the whole lot. Then I'm going to give them a side dressing of blood and bone and maybe even some of that organic extra and then just cover it with sugarcane mulch and then just, uh, then I'll just sort of keep it watered and uh, just watch for them to, to come up. And uh, over to the back there, I've got my lemongrass. I've replanted the lemongrass, and uh, so I'm going to give that plenty of room to grow. So I've got my last one, oh, about a good two feet away from the lemongrass, so that they'll both have plenty of room. Over behind that, I've got my kaffir lime, and I've put the, uh, we'll come around later and I'll show you the gal and gal. Uh, over to my left here. We've got our shallots, <laughs> and behind Wilma we've got our uh, chilies, but we won't show, show that. And uh, and we'll, you can see what's happening here. We're keeping all our Thai stuff in little group here, you know. <laughs> so, that's so. Uh, and I've got some cherry tomatoes. They're just growing wild over the back there. So they they go in the uh, lemongrass and prawn soup and lemongrass and fish head soup and that sort of thing. So. I've really, we've really uh, found out about this lemongrass soup and uh, I really love it. So anyway, we'll come back when we go around to the gal and gal. And so it's much the same here. I've got these uh, uh, kaffir, not I'm getting mixed up with my kaffirs, um, kiffa limes, no, kiffa potato, kiffa potatoes here. I've got a double row there. So as soon as they're finished, we'll uh, put some beans or sweet corn there. So we're just planting, this This soil is just rich, chock-a-block full of organic material and 
Everywhere you dig, there's earthworms. There's a clump of uh, grass there with earthworms in it. So it's, a lot of stuff has been rotting down here and I haven't been growing much stuff in it. So uh, the same thing goes with this uh, gal and gal. Just kind of see what happens, see if it grows. So I'm just going to do the same thing as a ginger. Just plant it and uh, about two, yeah, three inches under the ground and uh, keep it fertilised and watered and just see what happens with that. So you get a close up of this uh, lemongrass there which is planted and uh, that was the one, the big clump we had um, uh, it, I, I uh, bro broke it apart and uh, got quite a few stalks and put them in the freezer and um, I planted that plus about another five little pots so in case um, we wanted, you know, somebody wants to share some with them and you can see our uh, kaffir lime here. Um, the, uh, since the spring, I, I didn't mention we're in the second week of spring here, and uh, and these have only just come out in the last week. Beautiful new shoots, and uh, just on that little group there, there's enough for about five uh, soups. <laughs> so, uh, so what we do is we uh, you can freeze these couple of lime leaves. So uh, I don't know how we go for time. We'll come around and we'll talk a bit more about these uh, uh, sweet potatoes. So, so we're here just here. I've got a, uh, a row of uh, beans there. There the uh, kidney beans, the Borlotti kidney beans. Another row here, and, I'm, and just in between the row, I'm just just going to grow this. Put the sweet potato in this chunk in the ground here, and keep it covered up, and. Uh, let the sprouts just run everywhere and uh, and then chop them off and then plant them when it's time to plant it's it's a good time to plant sweet potato runners now but we've got that many spuds in and uh, so we're not in the desperate need of the sweet potatoes by the time they're ready to be harvested we've got that many spuds and um, I was about to grow my last I was, I was going to grow my last actually turn it off so this is our spuds here I, We've had that many spuds, we've got heaps in the freezer, bags and bags, but... And this was my last row I intended on growing, right? These are the pink eye potatoes, beautiful spuds. And uh, I went to the shop, to the fruit shop, to get the um, uh, spud, the sweet potato, the Hawaiian sweet potato, and the ginger and the gal and gal, and he said, oh, I've got some seeds and potatoes for you. They're going to seed, they're uh, shooting. So they gave me a box, another box of these, he just gave me, of these pink eyes. So I put them in, and I've got another double row over there. <laughs> so we're going to have sweet pink eye potatoes coming. Oh, unbelievable. So, now what I've got here is I've planted eight um, uh, basil plants. So we're going to make some pesto out of that. And the idea is to just harvest it make a batch of pesto, freeze it in ice blocks and then bring it on, you know, really bring it on with plenty of uh, fertiliser, harvest it again, you know, just chop it, give it a haircut and uh, and then uh, keep on doing that for about two months, two or three months and then when we've got a couple of big bags of pesto ice blocks in the freezer when we just pull them out and over here we've got some beautiful uh, pak choy, and you put them in a few weeks ago, or maybe about the same time as I planted the the basil. Uh, they're, they're looking pretty good. Uh, so. Anyway, uh, that's about it, I think. How, how are we going for time? Uh, 9.10. Oh, that's enough. Are you? Yeah, well, we'd better close off now. And, uh, so, it's <laughs> anyway, well, thanks very much for watching, and we'll catch you later. All the best. Bye.